All right, hello! Hello! Hello, I know I haven't uploaded in like days. I don't think I've uploaded since the new gun came out. I still haven't got dark matter for it. Don't ask me about it. It's on the way though. I had some stuff to do. Honestly, I was editing this video for the app, man. So I, I had to take care of that. Like I said, I've been trying to become like an editor for other people as well. So I was editing one of his upcoming videos and I got all that done. So I, I finally got the chance to sit down and record. So today, Dark Matter Ultra meets uh, Diamond Camo in Black Ops 2. It's not animated camo, but I thought this looked very, very similar to both camos. And this is a camo that you can download in the, like the Plutonium forums or whatever. I'll leave that in the description below. So we're gonna take a look at this camo and just talk about some things. Gotta talk about some NBA Finals stuff. Gotta talk about, um, uh, I guess I can talk about some of the stuff from Cold War and then, uh, oh, some anime that I've caught up on. So hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, leave a like. Follow me on all my social media stuff. Yeah, you know, all that, all that good jazz and all that stuff. Um, uh, and, um, yeah, without further ado, let's go, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. The NBA Finals last night, we, um, a little bit of, uh, the, the Suns and the Bucks again. It's been, I think it's been a couple days since they've actually played. The Suns lost. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect the Suns to lose. Um, like I said, and I've been saying for the past couple of videos, I I've expected the Suns to pretty much win the series in six games. Obviously, I don't think that can happen anymore because, yeah, no, that can't happen. I'm, I don't know. It all depends on how they come out and play in the next game, obviously. I don't know, man. There's something that happened. Like, Devin Booker put up 40 points last night, which was insane. I mean, the Suns blew it last night, to be honest. They were up by, like, 15 or 16 points. And then the Bucks came back in the second quarter and just started coming back. It was it was pretty insane. I didn't really expect the Bucks to win last night, and I've said that before. I expected the Bucks to lose in six. I don't know now, man. This series can go either way, and it's it's wild. It's actually really wild to watch. And like I said, it's pretty weird because the Suns were up big last night. They, they like I said, they were up 14, 15 points and things like that. And then all of a sudden, they just I don't know what happened. The second quarter came, and they just started. I don't know. They just started messing up like i i don't dude i don't even know i don't even know what to say to be honest right, can i move this all right cool this is, this is better than the predator missile for mw2 because i can actually move this instead of the predator missile so, oh i actually kind of hit myself <laughs> you guys see the camo you guys can see how it resembles dm ultra in cold war and how it also resembles diamond in and black ops 2 this is a camo that you can get on the like the bo2 plutonium uh forums or whatever if i'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to go download this, if you guys do play BO2 Plutonium or whatever, but you know, it's pretty cool, man. I really want to find out a way or find out how or learn how to make animated camos. Because if I can make Dark Matter and like Cherry Fizz from BO3, that, that would be super awesome. And I would love to do that for you guys too. And you know, for the community that plays these games still, I just, I don't know. I just really want to make those camos. It's content, man. Like being able to make the camos and then showcase them from old games that'd be super sick i'm trying to find out how i can get diamond camo in modern warfare 2 uh, and have it go on every single weapon instead of just um instead of just like maybe one or two weapons that would be really awesome i have not found out how to do that yet so i'm still trying to find out how to do that um i don't know if i'm going to be able to find out how to do that but yeah i'm still searching for a way though it's, it's definitely possible i just have to find the game files and it's just kind of hard to find those files to be honest Oh, dude, we're, we're going on a tear. Oh, my God. We're going on a tear right now. I am going on an absolute tear at the moment. And my teammate's actually going off, too. There's an AFK guy. Okay. Are we on a 10? 11? Something like that? We got a stealth chopper. No one's spawning back here. We're using the M8. can't remember if I said that already. I have deja vu, so I feel like I have said that, but I, I honestly cannot remember. The M8 fires a little bit slower in this game. If you guys have ever noticed that, we're just going to stick the stealth chopper, like, right here. These guys are just... These guys stand no chance. Oh, we got a V-Set. Sweet. I died, but, you know, we got a V-Set. That's, that's sick. So, I'm all caught up on the My Hero Academia and uh, Boruto, which is surprising. Let me tell y'all something about Boruto. The first, like, 112 episodes or whatever of Boruto, except for, like, maybe one or two arcs, are 
they're not the best. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I like, I really don't like them. It's okay. After Naruto Shippuden, there was just a lot that I didn't like at first, but now it's pretty good. I can't lie. It's pretty good. If you guys can withstand the filler and I guess the first 115 episodes or so, I'm pretty sure I watched maybe like the first, maybe like 40, 50 episodes. I would watch certain arcs. Some of the filler isn't stupid filler where they have to go save a cat or whatever. Like they're actual arcs, but it's, I'm pretty sure, and correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not exactly sure. Um, and, and I'd like to be corrected if uh, if I am wrong. I'm pretty sure that a good amount of the filler and some of the other arcs that are within the anime, arcs where Orto and Team 7 are fighting and things like that uh, with other with other villains and things like that. I don't think it's within the manga exactly. I don't read the manga, so I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure a majority of the filler is not in the manga. So, but at the same time, I don't know how far the manga is from the anime. So the anime is at like two, episode 208 or 209 or something like that. I should you not, I binge watched Boruto probably for about six hours yesterday just to get caught up because the arc is so good now. All right, so I had to back out. I needed, I wanted to make a different class because I feel like I've been using the same guns in every BO2 video that I play, MP7, uh, AN94, and uh, I'm trying to think of what other guns I've used. So we're using the PDW. I feel like the camo looks really, really nice on this map. It's kind of cool and kind of, I guess, uh, I don't know, not nostalgic, but it's it kind of makes sense to use this camo on this map because Raid is in Black Ops Cold War, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I can't move, can't move. So I'm all caught up on Boruto, uh, My Hero Academia, and obviously I've been watching Tokyo Revengers like the entire time that uh, it's been out. The Valhalla arc for Tokyo Revengers is underway and it's just, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait for everyone to experience it because I've already read the manga. There's a guy right here. Hello. Um, dude, it's gonna be awesome. Bloody Halloween's gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. We can't wait. If you guys watch Tokyo Revengers or any other anime right now, let me know down in the comments and I'll check them out, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see what other stuff I can catch up on because I mean, like, that's pretty much like what I do. Like when I'm just chilling or whatever, I should have had that. When I'm just like kind of hanging out when I finish editing videos or when I don't, and when I have a little bit of downtime or like when I'm done editing for the day, get this third, get this third, get this third, come on. Ah, there we go. Nice. Thought I was going to choke that. Not going to lie. When I get some downtime and whatnot, I like to get caught up on anime and whatever. Normally, I'll stop editing or finish working or whatever around like, I don't know, like 10, 11 o'clock. I don't really like to go past that, really. Normally, when uh, I'm finished, I, I just like go ahead and like watch some anime or whatever, which is like super cool. Let me know what you guys are watching at the moment. We're going to keep using the PDW, though. There was a shooting last night outside of the Washington Nationals uh, game, like outside the ballpark or whatever. Apparently, like three people were injured and whatever. And that's pretty crazy, bro. Like, I, I, this one was wild today man thankfully no one died three people were injured and uh one of them was a fan not that it, i mean like it, obviously everyone being injured is not okay i don't know man i just like heard about that while i was watching the nba finals last night and i was like wow like that's super crazy and whatnot hopefully everyone's okay and things are uh everyone's all right and all that good stuff uh i don't really I, I, i'm gonna be real with you guys I, I don't know what else to talk about you know i always really liked the pdw because of the magazine the magazine has always had a lot in it and obviously like it was remade in bo4 with the cordite i also said that the new gun the ots9 and whatnot a lot of people are like oh it's the kippers from bo1 and I, and obviously it is i thought it was more like the scorpion from cod4 at first it really re don't pay attention to that. I think it feels more like the Sog from Black Ops 4. I just get like that Sog vibe. Dude, what is with all these guys in lanes and bouncing baddies? I don't know. I just get that Sog vibe. I feel if you put the dual wield attachment on the on the OTS, it would be very, very similar to the Sog from BO4. It's not the best SMG in the game, but it's definitely one of the better ones. It's not better than the 74U. I still think that the MP5 is better than it. I get, I, you can make the argument for top three. I'm trying to think of all the SMGs in that game. And I just don't really see... It's definitely not better than the 74U and MP5. That, that's I'm 100% sure about that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, let me know what other camo you guys would like me to either make or look at in, uh, in I guess, another game. Or like I said, I'm trying to get Diamond and MW2. So that, that would be super cool. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.